What's up, guys? Mame Tacos. With me is Falcon Punch, and we're doing another Taco Punch League cast. Really quick, we're gonna go over who we have uh, for the each lane. Top, Top lane, lane, we have Jax, played by Wings of Death from TSM Evo, and against him is Aurelia. In the jungle, we have Nocturne for the blue team and Nautilus for the purple team. Mid, we have Swain against Pantheon. In bottom lane, we're gonna have Severe against the odd combo of Xinjiao and Jarvan. Alright, so I guess we'll just uh, jump right into this one. In 3, 2, 1, play. So basically, we see a pretty standard opening from all these lanes, food pots, where it's needed. Jax to start with a cloth armor and five health pots, and Tarek started out with a uh, fairy charm. Or the boots. He must have went back already. He had two assists. It does look like bottom lane. We do have like a, some sort of kill lane. They're trying to get off here with Jarvan. And oh, there, there they go. Jumping on the server. Sivir's dropping extremely low. She does drop down. The turret shot comes out and Jin Zhao, he almost dies. Jarvan taking a lot of damage. Looks like that kill lane is actually uh, working out pretty good then. They did pick up that kill on the server quite handily. Uh, well, yeah, I guess we'll see how, how this works out. It looks like they did, they did give up first blood and a second kill before we were able to jump into the game. So I guess we'll just have to see how this plays out. Swain against Pantheon mid. Swain should be able to pick this lane up. He could farm a lot better. Um, Pantheon is able to just throw spears at him a lot, but we're going to see how this works out. He does have lifesteal from his ultimate, but there he comes with the stun. Nocturne comes for the gank. He gets the fear. It does go off the ignite from Pantheon, and Pantheon picks up the kill. So as I say that Swain should win the lane, Pantheon picks up the kill. Even my words a little bit. Here we come bottom. We have Jin Zhao and Jarvan coming in through the side bush. I don't know if Tarek knows they're here. There's a ward in the bush. They are gonna engage on him. There's the, the charge in from Jin Zhao. He's gonna get the knock up though. There's the knock up from Tarek. He's gonna be able to get a heal off. He's driving extremely low. There's the flash from Jarvan. Jarvan does pick up the kill. He drops down to the tower, excuse me, Sivir and the tower. Looks like Jin Zhao is really low. He's gonna be running away from from that Sivir. And it looks like he's gonna have to back from this one. They do trade one to one. I'm not sure if that was worth it, but they do get the kill. And the kill lane is just brutal. They're dealing tons of damage. You usually see Jarva, Jarvan and Leona in that bottom lane, but Jinjal is working out quite good too. And top lane, we have Nocturne sneaking into the side bush. I'm not sure if it really knows he's here. Uh, he, she has no idea. Here comes out the fear. There's a flash from her, really. There's like Knight on her as well. She is able to get away from this one. And it looks like Jax did jump away, or flash away as well, taking some of those tower shots. He did not want to go down. Really, looks really low. Here. Oh, there's a Nocturne, or excuse me, Nautilus coming in from the side. He did run into Nocturne a little bit, but he's going to back up. Nocturne was quite low from the tower. Jarvan, or excuse me, Jax is quite low as well, and he's going to be backing. You do see that pretty much all the lanes are just going to go back to farming. You do see some. The purple team is pushing a little bit. Maybe they're trying to go back, get some more items. We should try to push up the lane. Oh, but we do see the stun from Tark, the boomerang from Sivir. But she's gonna spell shield just to be safe, so make sure she doesn't get knocked up. Yeah, the spell shield is actually gonna be quite strong bottom. She's gonna be able to block the knock up from Jin Zhao, as well as the dash, the slow, um, any type of knock up from Jarvan as well. So, yeah, it's, it's actually gonna be quite brutal. And with the Tark stun, they are gonna be able to stop a lot of the initiation from both Jin Zhao and Jarvan. I mean, when me and you try to run a kill lane, it always seems like Jaina is a pretty good counter to us, like Blitzstar, and it seems like Tark is a fairly decent counter to it too, so... I mean, it's obviously working out pretty good. They, Jarvan has picked up two kills so far, but... It could get a little dicey later on. Because I feel that kill lanes, if you don't get the kills early enough, that you just kind of don't do anything instead of snowball like you're intended to do. Top, we do see uh, Jax and Aurelia are just trading right now. They're they're actually pretty even, it looks like, in terms of health and and damage. And here comes out the ping onto Jax, and here comes the jump from Pantheon. He is jumping top right now. Jax does get the stun off, and Aurelia, Aurelia is dropping really low. Oh, freaking! I lied. Pantheon is actually on the other team. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, the <they're laughs> Pantheon was on the purple team. The circle yeah, the, came out purple. The circle came out purple. I don't know. That's really weird. But yeah, he was on the blue team. Pick up the kill. Or was that an assist? Either way. One of the two. So yeah, the blue team started out 
two to zero or oh two I guess and now they are up in kills four to three they still are behind about 300 gold but that's really not anything to worry about looks like Nocturne is going to go try to do a little bit of counter ganking or counter gun gun excuse me drops a ward at the blue trying to keep tabs on it he is not level six yet so he doesn't have his ultimate whoops He's setting bottom right now where <laughs> Sivir <laughs> just to get, get a kill on Jinjao. Looks like Nanos is going to come in right here from the side. There he goes, he pops his Q. He, does it, he hits the Tarek, it looks like. That's about it. it looks like Jarvan is going to drop down to Tarek. Tarek doing a lot of damage. Now there's a 2v1 situation right now. Tarek is really low. There's a spell shield blocking most of the boomerang damage. He is going to be able to get this kill. No, he's actually going to run away. He's not going to get the kill on this Tarek. Here comes Pantheon, though. Tarek picking up the kill the on Nanos, or excuse me, Nocturne. He's not able to get away. Pantheon coming in. There's a jump from Pantheon, and there's the kill onto Tarek on Pantheon. That was a weird turn of events. But Pantheon is there to clean up the last kill. Tark went on a 2-0 run. He took down both <laughs> both Jin Zhao and Jarvan, so it's unfortunate that he that Sivir didn't get the kills, but he will be able to go buy some more wards and stuff to just keep the lane protected. Jack's right now getting stunned on the tower. There he comes up and hops his own stun as well, but he's gonna be able to get, take a little bit of damage from that tower. There's the ping coming out on the jacks. I'm not sure if they're gonna. Looks like Nautilus is gonna come top. Swain is also coming top. But then minions do see Nautilus. Jax does know what is coming. He's just gonna ward his bush and he's gonna gonna walk away from this. Purple team as well has a ward in this entrance here to the jungle, so they are gonna know if uh, Nocturne is coming at all to try to get any ganks top and or bottom. There are wards both places in the river. Yep, and we did see the ward in the tri bush just run out. Nas right now ganking mid. He, oh, he misses the cook though. Pantheon is going to be able to back up away from this one. He is going to be safe to go. Here comes Nocturne on the other side. He gets the fear. And it goes off. Pantheon jumps for the stun. And you, the, yep. Swain die, or Nautilus dies from the ignite from Pantheon. Pantheon is going to cancel his jump, just throw the spear and walk away. Jarvan coming up to offer some help. But Swing's just gonna back off since Selene is pushing towards the blue tower. There are pings come out from the purple team to their blue. The blue team should also know it's there. There is the word there. Jarvan is actually setting up. He might be, I don't know, maybe gonna try to steal this. Swain does see him though. He should see him. He did walk into the bush. Pantheon is gonna be jumping onto blue buff right now on both Tark and Swain. He does land. Oh my gosh, Swain taking a lot of damage. He gets blown up. Here comes out the ult from Jarvan. Tark's gonna get locked in and he does get pick up the kill. Pantheon picking up the kill. Getting that double. It's going to be a lot of gold. Oh, there's a ping coming down on Sivir. Looks like Jarvan is going to come in from the back. Here comes Jinjao as well. She's going to back up, though. I think she does She yeah. does know that something is coming. So and Here comes Jarvan coming into the tower. There's the dive-in from Jinjao. She just popped her spell shield. There's Exhaust and Sivir. She's dropping really low. The tower's doing a lot of damage to both Jarvan and Jinjao. But looks like Sivir's extremely low. She's going to die, though. She's d diving around the tower, and Jinjao does pick up the kill. Jarvan does drop down to the tower. So it is a one-to-one -one trade. They were taking a lot of damage from that tower. I'm not sure if it was worth it, but they did pick up a kill, so we'll see. Yeah, I mean, the, the killing bottom is doing a fairly decent job to try to snowball, but Jarvan is 2-3 and three and Jinjao is 1-1. One and one. So they're not snowballing as well as they hoped, I'm assuming, but... Pantheon mid is actually doing extremely well. He is 5-1-1. One and one. He's dealing the deep. Swain is only two and two. It looks like they're about equal in farm, so that's not a big deal. But for gold totals, he should be quite far ahead. Yeah, he's at 4k. Swain is only at 3k. He has a thousand gold ahead of him with all those kills. We'll see how he puts that to use as the game goes on. Yeah, I mean, I was talking about Swain winning the lane. He should he should win the lane, but Pantheon is just roaming around using his ultimate to to his advantage and getting kills in other lanes. So. That's not what Swain wanted because eventually he's not going to be able to take take control of his lane. He's just going to be able to push it to his tower like he's doing right now and just start roaming like he has been. So Bottom we lane. See, we do see Jax jump on Aurelia top, get the stun, but he's just going to walk away and finish farming up the lane. Here comes the Nocturne out coming down in the bottom lane onto Sivir. Sivir drops extremely low there. All three of them are on the tower. Jinjao, Nocturne, and... Jarvan. Jarvan does drop down to the tower though. They're doing taking a massive amount of damage. Nocturne dropping extremely low. Holy crap, they're just taking so much damage. Again, chunked. Here comes Nautilus coming in to help bottom lane. Tarek and Sivir. Here comes the all on, all 
onto Pantheon. Pantheon did jump in. Tark almost going to die. There it is. There's a kill from Pantheon. Pantheon taking a lot of damage from the tower. He does get boomeranged in the face as he eats a tower shot as well. They only pick up one kill. Looks like Zhao get caught, getting caught by Swain. It looks like he is also going to drop. And that was a one for four. That was not worth it at all. And on top as well, looks like Jar or Jack's almost dead. It really has no mana though. She's not going to be able to chase him down. She's just not going to actually pursue this. That was almost an ace if she did pick up the kill. One more auto attack. Oh man, Jax does make it out of there. We do see purple team is going to pick up Dragon to advance that gold lead even further. They're at a 3k gold lead 12 minutes in the game. So we'll see how they put that to use. Hopefully they'll be able, be able to buy some bigger and better items. They're going to be pushing this vintage as well. Oh, there's the Ignite coming out under really a top. She's taking a lot of damage from minions and Ignite, but she's going to be able to auto attack a lot of that with her passive from her Hitten styles. A basic attacks do restore 13 health. She did drop really low. Jack's also dropping really low on the tower, but he was able to push her off with that ignite. Looks like she is just going to back Nocturne coming up right now to see if he can pick her off. Nope, he's just going to ward. And he's going to back off as well. Yeah, so we do see a ward in that tri bush for both teams, so anything is going to be pretty difficult. They might have to sneak up and around the tower, try to push him, push him in the in the bush right here. And do go from there, but you do see Pantheon just gonna push the lane to the tower like he's been doing, and looks like he's gonna go try to help bottom. Bottom lane, we did see an engage from Sivir and Tarek onto Jarvan. Sivir did pop her all. She does have double buffs right now, so she's gonna be, gonna be able to spam those boomerangs as much as possible, dealing a lot of damage. Her boomerang should does have a 1.1 AD ratio, so she will be dealing out a, a lot of damage with those. And she does have that red, which does get applied by her boomerang blades. So she will get that extra 2 damage on her attacks as well as that slow. Yeah, we do see Nocturne pick up his red, so his ganks are going to be pretty formidable. So you're able to use the dot that comes off of that in slow. To just really pound the, pound the lanes and gank him. You see Nautilus right now, mid lane. I don't know if he's going to try to apply some pressure here. The lane is pretty pushed in terms of, or in favor of Pantheon. Oh, here comes up the ping and the alt from Nocturne. Swain taking a lot of damage. His alt is up though. He does flash out. Pantheon actually dropping low and dying to Nautilus. Nautilus picking up the kill. He, there's the hook coming out to Nocturne. Nocturne's not going to be able to get away it looks like. Oh, here comes Jarvan out of nowhere. Does the flash. He alts onto Swain. Swain is going to drop though. His alt's keeping him alive, but he does die. Nocturne does pick up the kill on not, or Nocturne and Jin Zhao and Jarvan are still here, but oh my god, there's the hook coming back onto Jin Zhao. Not, or Sivir does pop her all. Nocturne or Nautilus does drop to Jin Zhao. Jin Zhao dropping low, or excuse me, Jarvan dropping low. He does die. Here comes all the stun from Tarek, and Sivir is going to be able to pick up this kit, looks like. Is he going to be able to get away though? Are they going to dive? No, they're just going to let him live. They give him the thumbs up. Jin Zhao living with just a sliver of health. He does have red buff. Looks like we missed the kill on top. Jax did die top to Jin Zhao, or excuse me, Aurelia. But is, these team fights are not just not going in the favor at all. Oh, I missed the jump yeah, top. We do see Pantheon jump top and land the stun, and throws a spear and walks away. That's a fadeaway. Yeah, the blue team is basically an NBA team. They have the dunk from Jarvan, the jump from Pantheon, and the jump, the leap strike from Jack. So they're just jumping on, just like Miami Heat. We see both teams picking up their blue. It looks like, or actually, they're just gonna. Uh, Are they gonna do Baron? They're gonna try to rush this Baron, but Nocturne or no, excuse me, Nautilus does ward just in time, so he knows. Oh it's my there. God! And wow, Jinjiao dies Jinjiao to just Baron. Taking a lot of damage from he Baron. He did not back up. That's really confusing. Pantheon taking a lot of damage. I'm not sure what they were thinking. They, I, <laughs> I'm not really sure what they were thinking there. I would not have engaged on that Baron, but they do pick up their blue. Uh, purple's blue did go to Swain. They took a lot of damage there for no reason, it seems. We see Nocturne, or Nautilus right now, sitting in the bush, waiting to see if there's Nocturne. Yep, Nocturne, they do go the opposite directions, though. They are going to miss each other. And there goes the ward onto blue buff. Oh, we do see the ping coming top from the purple team. Looks like they're going to do a four-man gank up there. I don't think this Jax knows either. It looks like he... He's just going to start trading with this really, but he should see him now. Here comes no no or Nocturne, or excuse me, Nautilus. And Saber, and there comes out the all onto Jax. Jax dropping really low. It looks like he's going to drop. There's, there comes out the snare as well, and there he goes. He drops to all four members. 
yeah, four members of the blue team minus Tarek. Tarek is actually mid lane right now. Looks like purple team is going to be able to pick up this top turret. And that might be... You know, this is going to be their second turret of the game. And there we go. Oh, and it really it does disconnect. Oh, there we go. JK, guys. That would have been unfortunate with a big lead like this for her to disconnect. But we're good. We're going to engage mid. Looks like Sivir dropping low. She does get jumped on by Pan by Pantheon, but he did, she is able to flash out. Here comes up the alt from Jarvan. He did locks in two members of the purple team, but he does drop as, as well. Not our Nocturne also dropping to Sivir. Purple team just picked up three kills for zero. That is a huge lead, big advantage right now. They are going to be able to to yeah, push in, deal some damage mid. It looks like they are going to pressure mid. The only one to defend right now is Wings of Death on Jax. He's not going to be able to do much with all members of the purple team up right now. And the only one to defend here is Jin Zhao and Jax. He's going to engage on this Sivir, or excuse me, Swain though, and Sivir as well. He does flash out though, he's going to take a lot of damage, he's going to drop down to the Ignite. Jin Zhao also goes in, but there's four members of the uh, purple team on the tower. And there he goes, he does drop down to Sivir. And here comes the jump from Pantheon though, he actually, holy crap, he burst down really, just taking a lot of damage. Sivir taking a lot of damage from Ignite. Look, she does pop her out, she is going to be able to run away though. She lives with a sliver of HP. Pantheon is help. chasing, but oh my gosh, she is going to be able to get away. We did miss a kill. Jarvan picking up a kill. Or excuse me, Nocturne and Jarvan picking up a kill on Nautilus. And Swain also dropping low, and he does die as well. And the blue team is pinging Baron. Let's see if they can have a more successful attempt at this Baron. Once again, there's only three members from the blue team. Look at Jack. Jackson Jin Zhao just did just spawn, but there are three members of the purple team down right now. The only ones to defend will be Tarek and Sivir, and it looks like they are just now getting there. Tarek not going to be able to do much by himself, and it looks like they are going to be able to pick this one up. Well, he does flash over though. Did he get the steal? No. Nope. Purple team is able to smite it and pick it up. Looks like Nocturne is actually really low. He is actually being chased by the Tarek. No, Tarek's going to let him live. Pantheon actually did die though. Jarvan dropped in really low. And here comes Sivir coming in to help Tarek, but it looks like they are just going to back up. Both teams are going to disengage. But it does look like the purple team is going to try to chase this out. They know that uh, the blue team is vulnerable right now. Here Means. comes with the stun from Tarek onto Jax. Jax is actually going to be able to back off from there. Here comes that ult from Sivir, but it looks like they're not going to be able to do much. Jarvan, oh my gosh, Jarvan was backing right on the tower there, right around the corner, but he is able to back in time. It looks like they're just going to split up now, and it looks like they're just going to pressure this middle lane. Yep, Sivir is really fed right now. She has an IE, a Zeal, a Wiggles. She's going more defensive minded. She has a Doran Shield and the Ninja Tabby. It looks like they're going to have a team fight. Nocturne drops to Swain. Holy crap, I just lost track of that whole thing. That's fine. Holy triple, crap. Triple kill for Pantheon. Pantheon came out of nowhere, did drop down, dealing a lot of damage with his jump. He was able to. Actually, he didn't even use a jump. His jump is still up, but he did come in there. He did get a stun off. He used his. His uh, Heart Seeker Strike, which is that AoE, he was able to pick up three kills with that. Both Sivir and Tark had to back up. They, it looks like they, they didn't take hardly any damage at all, but they had to back out of there. It looks like Blue Team was able to turn that round and take that mid tower. I just noticed on the minimap they changed the pictures for the camps. I don't like those. It looks like crap, but whatever. Looks like Blue Team is going to pick up this dragon to try to kind of come back from this. They were behind quite a bit. They were behind by... Looks uh, 6K, uh, yeah, six k. So we're only behind by about two, three. yeah, three, three or three thousand gold. So they are coming back. It looks like they are going to be able to try to take this bottom tower. The only one there to defend is Tarek. Actually, Jarvan and, and Jinjao are just going to back off from that. They didn't look. At this Tarek is actually dropping deeps. They don't want any part of that. And he does have four kills, so he's picking up a lot of a lot of extra gold. And he does actually have a Randuin's Omen, so he's going to be able to pop that during team fights plus his ult. So he's basically a buff machine. I mean, it is unfortunate for the blue team. They are all 80 champions, with the really only exception will be Jarvan, or excuse me, Jax, dealing a little bit of AP damage with his passives and his his uh, empower. And actually, Pantheon as well, his all and his W do deal magic damage. But really, they are all AD, so everyone on the purple team is building armor, as you can see. There is armor on every single one of them. Sivir as well has a Riggles Lantern. There, there's the engage on bottom lane. Looks like Jinja is going to get caught in opposition. He does get died in the tower by four people. He gets pushed off and he does drop. 
He got hit by the snare, the sliver alt. He just got picked off by everything. There was nothing really he could do. Yeah, the purple team does have a nice combination of CC, Tark, stun. And pretty much everybody has a stun except, um, except Suger. So they have a nice, nice group of CC champs. I mean, the blue team aren't in slashes either. Pretty much everybody has a stun or some kind of CC. Actually, they all have some sort of CC, so... This is a very CC. I've said that about six times this way. Oh, here comes the jump from Pantheon mid. He is engaging on a Swain. Swain does have his alt up though. He gets the slow down. Here comes the alt from Nocturne. He is engaging onto the Swain. Here comes out the snare though. He does hit Nocturne. Nocturne looks like here comes Jarvan though. He is alting on the Swain. Swain does flash out of it though. Swain, or excuse me, Jarvan taking a lot of damage. He flashes out of the way, out of the hook from Nautilus. And Nautilus right now is chasing both Jax and Nocturne with Tark and Sivir. Sivir t dealing a lot of damage to this Jax. He is. Drum, oh, he does jump to the Noct or Nautilus, excuse me, Nocturne though, to try to get away, but Aureli comes in from the side though. He does jump on, the, she does jump on the Nocturne. She gets the kill there. She gets the double kill onto Jax. There's the triple kill onto Jin Zhao. She's just picking up kills left and right. It looks like she's going to try to chase down this Panther. No, she does back off. He's able to get away, but man. Blue team getting caught, kind of out of position. Panther did jump in by himself onto Swain. He did get caught out. Here comes the hook though from Jar onto Jarvan from Nautilus. Nautilus, Jarvan does get stunned from Tark as well, and he drops to four people as well. It looks like they're just getting picked off left and right, and it looks like this is going to be the the first inhibitor of the game for Purple Team. And they're just pulling really far out there now. Almost a 10k gold advantage. That is not looking good for the blue team. They are pinging this top tower. It looks like they are all four, five of them going up top. They're going to pick up this tower. I mean, with a high ELO game like this, you can't really count a team out because they're all very skilled players. But you can almost say that the blue team is basically out of this game. They're down like 9 slash 10k gold. They're just down 10 kills. They're, they only have one tower. It's pretty rough for the blue team. They just keep getting caught out of position and the purple team is capitalizing on these opportunities that the blue team is giving them. So. Looks like the purple team right now is going to be backing. They are going to be spending all their gold that they just earned in that big team fight with two towers and an inhibitor. Three towers and an inhibitor. Yeah, we see Aurelia gets the Trinity Force, Sivir gets the Last Whisper, and Nautilus gets a Randuin Omen. So that's two Randuin Omens on the purple team. So that's going to be a lot of slow coming from that active, and it's going to be a lot of extra armor for these champions. I'm actually really happy Sivir actually bought that early Last Whisper. If you look on the blue team, a lot of them do have that armor. There's the armor from Nocturne. There's armor on Jax and Jarvan. So she's going to be able to deal a lot of damage. Oh, actually really a disconnecting right now. Um, hopefully she... Oh, there she is. She did reconnect. That could have been bad. Here we go. Jin Zhao getting caught out of position. There's the whole team. He gets... Oh my gosh. He gets bursted down before anyone can really do anything. Looks like it is going to be 45 for the next 30 seconds. It will be a power play for the next 30 seconds. And it looks like they're going to take this bottom tower. They're just going to tank it. They don't need that mini wave. Nautilus, or excuse me, yeah, Nautilus right now is actually really beefy. Yeah, he does have like 23k or yeah, 2300 health. Not 23 kills. You're down to this. Oh, Jarvan coming in. He does alt though, and then he jumps out, pulls himself out. Pantheon taking a ton of damage. There's a stun out from Tarek. He's dealing. Tarek actually might be able to get the kill, and I'm not. Or Nocturne does drop to the entire team. Pantheon extremely low, but he is able to get away. Here comes out the exhaust onto Jax. Jax is able to jump away though. He is getting chased by both by the entire enemy team. It looks like Swain, Nas, and Tarek, but it looks like they maybe just let him go. Here comes a relic coming in from the side though. She's getting engaged by Shijal. She's taking a lot of damage from the tower. Juno getting nuked down though by the entire enemy team. It really picking up that kill. Jarvan taking a lot of damage. He did get hit by the snare from Swain, but he's able to pull himself out of that as well. And Jax is still running right now. He's still being chased by both Nautilus and Aurelia. And um, <laughs> that's his main focus right now is just to delay the purple team. There's two members chasing him, so that's going to be two less people in their base pushing down inhibitors. I mean, they do have a lot of damage in the base, but... Oh, looks like he, Nautilus does do a little hokey pokey. He says, you know what, wings of death. I got you. You got your number right here. Wings of death does pop his ult, though. It looks like he's going to be able to pick up this kill. Aurelia, really dropping extremely low. There's the, the hex, or the hex drinker popping for... Jax, though, he's able to survive some of the, su survives for some of this magic damage. Nautilus actually giving him the thumbs thumbs up and letting him go. I'm not really sure. I guess he just said, you know, whatever. He got the kill in Aurelia. I'm not really sure if that was worth it. Here comes the jump from Pantheon. 
He's jumping back in onto Tark and Sivir. Sivir dropping low and dying to Pantheon. Tark has popped his Radiance, but it looks like he's not going to be able to get away unless he can flash over this wall. And no, unfortunately, Pantheon does pick up the double kill. Yep, and that's what I was talking about. They could have. If Aurelia and Nautilus were in the base, they most likely could have ended the game right there. They did have an inhibitor down, so they could have just pushed the, uh, the Nexus towers and probably taken the Nexus. But they were chasing him. Nautilus did do a little hokey pokey that might have. Uh, that might have lost them the kill because that I don't know. It looks like blue team does want to go for this Baron right now, but half the t half the purple team is up. I don't know sure if they're going to be able to contest this. It's only Swain, Aurelia, and Nautilus. So we'll have to see. Maybe Nautilus can come in and get a steal. Um, Jinjal taking a lot of damage from Baron. He's a backup, or he will die. I don't know what he's doing right now. Oh, he does get dodged by the Swain or the. Snare from Swain, but he is picked up in the end by Aurelia. Here comes out the L onto Pantheon from Nautilus. He does drop down. Nocturne dropping down. The only one up left alive right now is Jarvan at the Baron, and he does drop to both Aurelia, uh, Nautilus, and, and Swain. All surrender. three of them. The only team left is Jax. There's a surrender. And there's the surrender. <laughs> GG to the purple team. They are up like about 12k gold. They were just able to take advantage of that all AD team. That kill lane did not work out so well in favor of the blue team. It looks like both Jin Zhao and Jarvan ending 4-10, 2-10 respectively. So that did not just that did not work out in their favor at all. I mean, the last little thing, the moral of that story was don't get caught out of position, guys. They, I mean, Jin Zhao kept getting caught, Nocturne kept getting caught, and they just capitalized. Sivir ended up 11-3. and three. She was just cutting people apart. Tarik was landing those dazzles and stunning everybody. I mean, don't get caught out of position, guys. I'm sure you already know that if you play any kind of League of Legends, but that was the moral of the story. They kept getting caught and costing the game. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Please follow us, like us, and all that stuff on Twitter and Facebook. Uh, we'll be coming out with an episode every day, hopefully, with, you know, barring server maintenance and all that stuff. That's why these episodes have episodes have been late. Couldn't, we couldn't get on watching any matches. And I mean, a that's... ridiculous queue time. Yep, that's our main source of games is the featured. So, I mean, if you want us to cast one of your games, subscribe, send us an email, um, add us in game, message us there. So, yeah, just subscribe to our channel, keep track of what we're doing. Once we get a decent following, we're going to start doing giveaways and all that jazz. So, for this episode, peace out. See you.